Hey everybody, back with another video. And today I want to just open up the side of a regular um, split system air conditioner and kind of show you what you're going to be seeing on the inside. I get into it. I got a, a photo already open here. Now I did the internet and found a random image to look at. This is typical of what you're going to see inside of the uh, panel when you open up that air conditioner. Um, you're going to have a capacitor. This capacitor, you're going to have a contactor, and that's about it. You're going to have a bunch of wires. There could be some other controls. Depends on which unit. This is just the basic version. Okay. Um, this little side compartment here, this is where your low voltage wire comes in. You can see the thermostat wire. But that thermostat wire comes in and pops up and connects here. So um, you're going to have a common. This is going to be a common. Typically, this is a white and red wire. Um, so the white would be common, the red would be your W. So that is connected to the contactor and the other side of the contactor, which is your coil here on the side. So that's what energizes and makes the switch. Here you have one leg switched, another leg non-switch is basically uh, a pass-through and what's that what that's for is is it allows uh, power to power it so it uh, will keep the the compressor warm uh, keep the oil uh, warm and force the refrigerant out of the compressor we just switch this leg which uh, when this energizes it power to the uh, uh, up here to the capacitor which then sends power down to the uh, and up to the fan motor through these other two wires here. Uh, while we're right here let's take a look at this capacitor a little closer. This one says 35.5. This is a dual capacitor that there's one, two, and the one in the back there is three. A common, a fan, and a herm or a C F and H on your um, on the top of your capacitor, and that between the terminals C and F, which is your fan, that's going to be a five microfarad. Okay, and then between common and H or Herm, that is going to be 35. Okay, so that's what that represents. Dual capacitor. That's uh, they're always plus or minus five percent. And we've got 370 here. There's other voltages, but uh, for this case, most of them are 370. All right, and that's about all the information you really need off of the uh, non-PCB. You get into an old one, you want to be careful. Make sure you uh, dispose of it properly. Uh, the older ones will have PCBs in them. Bad stuff. Okay. So also you see here that uh, in this lower section, this is where your power comes in. Um, a knockout here. Uh, and this one, this is probably a half inch, maybe three quarter, but I'm going to bet you that this is a half inch uh, seal tight connection. And uh, you'll notice that they put in a washer. Either the hole is already too big, or they accidentally made it too big. So they put in a washer, and then you got your locking nut here. So this would uh, more than like seal tight connection, and that's what you'll want to use outside. Uh, uh, they used uh, two blue wires. That proper coloring, but that's what they use. Here, so you know that one leg is 110, one leg is. 110 and two together they're 220 and you also have your ground which is taken almost like it's over here on the back side um, can be uh, chassis um, yeah that's about it um, I guess we'll uh, we'll stop this video here and uh, uh, we'll get into uh, I get into another video uh, some wiring schematics and things like that so if you like this sort of video and this
stuff out, let me know. The only way I know that uh, you guys are digging this stuff is letting me know. So um, don't forget to like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And well, guys, we'll, we'll talk to you on the next video. Thank you.